Hi everyone, and um, this one's about the post editor. So before I start and get going, let's read a, a short statement, <laughs> um, which is along the lines of, here's, here's the deal. I've made, I think it's about 915 posts at my, my site, and with all the other stuff I've done for other, other people with Blogger, then it must be over a thousand posts. And I've got no memory of using the post editor not really um, those buttons up there there's 21 buttons up there and none of them have got any real meaning to me perhaps it's like playing a piano where you're so focusing on the story or the music or the something else that you just just don't look at those buttons so so what I'm going to do is let, let's just say those buttons um, must be up there for something and if they were people then which ones would be your friends which ones would you uh, avoid and which ones, if any, should be held tight like your one true love? And that's what I'm hoping to find out over the next, um, this post and probably two more to go through these buttons. So first of all, let's get started properly and say to ourselves, um, I made a little video a while ago and it was set to music because I want um, some children to um, pick up Blogger and I don't really want them looking at all the, the technical stuff in the back. I just want them just to know and do it and create cool stuff. So just watch a bit of this. The idea I was trying to look through the closed window. And next thing on this one as the introduction is Blogger itself. Now, Blogger um, has done a page on the post editor, there's not much of it. So, I think at this stage, this is an appeal to say. If anybody's watching this and they want to know about this, apart from you know getting it from me, is to say on on this post you've got the compose, which is a what you see is what you get thing, um, which is the top one. You've got the edit HTML and a preview, and then it's just got the buttons and there's a bunch of stuff, and that's actually it. So if you're watching, you you want Blogger to come up with um, some videos, maybe some extra text, whatever, whatever, then let us know. So what I'm going to try and do is just get started now properly and go from left to right. So um, first thing you'll see, and this is the bit where I'm saying that I've used this tons of times, but I don't really have a memory of them and should, should I be using them at all in this way. Now, this one on the left hand side here, which is the undo, do I ever use them? I'm using my own experience here and my own personal views of what I think is important, right? This is, is not a, I just want it to be bit of interesting really so let's just type something shall we let's start with uh once oops, can't see once upon the time once upon a time doesn't matter a time that do so what we've got um first of all is let's um start with the compose window that's what we're in what you see is what you get means that whatever you see on screen will be published so if you want to preview that immediately, then you can click preview and it will whir around and you can see it says once upon a time and you've, and you've got it here on the left hand side. Okay, it's not live, it's just a preview. Do I trust the preview? No. To be honest, I don't. You know, I, I never look at it. I just, okay. This, these are my views. So in other words, um, we've got HTML. So if you click over to that, we've got a tag and another tag, which means it's gone bold. Okay, so what I can do is I can notice that I can highlight this out and I can hit bold and oh, it's done twice now. You see what's happening every time I click on it and you're thinking, what is that doing? What is that doing? And the answer is probably not a lot. So what you can do is go backwards and go over to HTML and I've used the back button. There's nothing there. Okay, fine. Let's start again. So I'm in the compose window again and I'm going to type once on a time okay this time I click over to HTML which in theory and I'd love everybody who's watching like everybody to get through a whole post and do it and never click into HTML because you don't need to 
if you're like um, in Blogger, you know, with a bona fide account and you're 13 years old, then um, awesome, get on with it. You're probably not going to look at the back end of the code. So let's see what we've got so far. So we've got go backwards and forwards. That is a pretty common thing that you can do in any like Google product at the moment. And then we've got the next one, which is changing your font. Now, in your blogger settings, you've got a default font. No idea what it is on this blog. And there's a bunch of different fonts in here. What I would suggest already is go and have a look around and see what you like. Um, can't much say too much you know, about that, really. But I would say just, just choose one font, stick to it. Now, if you want to get uh, things to small and large, that's pretty much nothing big deal about that it just does exactly what it says so if i wanted to make something remember you've got to highlight it first and you go to the largest and if you want to click over to do a little bit of teaching here is that here is once upon a time and then you can see that it's uh, it's put in to say i want extra large font on there you want to go just go back and you're once upon a time i wanted to go back and put it back to normal or I mean, there's two ways to do this, isn't there? I could go back and I say, yeah, okay, I've selected it. I want to say, oh, sorry, I want to go over and click normal. I could do, or I could just click back and it will reduce the steps. Now, it's getting a lot, lot better online now. So at the moment, we've got anything in there. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end and go on to part two.